So this here is my Dell and uh, I have freshly installed Windows 10 technical preview so it's booted up here. Now I like to note this is dual booted with uh, Ubuntu so you're gonna see the grep boot loader here and here it is and uh, yeah why I mentioned this uh, the technical preview kind of keeps showing up as Windows recovery environment now first I thought whoa that's gonna suck if it always boots into the you know recovery but in fact it doesn't do that it just boots straight into Windows I don't know why it says that probably because um, it's not 8.1 but it's also not Windows 10 sort of it just doesn't say it uh, I'm gonna show it but look at that boot time that is ridiculously good now it already has been so great on Windows 8.1 and well I never really hate 8 on here I had 8.1 in the first ever preview of Windows 10, which I couldn't get the sound driver to work, so uh, I needed to downgrade to 8.1. But 8. Point, uh, uh, 10 works just just like 8.1 pretty much. So um, I don't know. So all this stuff works. The only driver I actually had to install manual was the sound, and that's it. So, oh, let's forget here. Let's get it properties. Here it is. Windows 10 technical preview. But uh, it never really shines up as Windows 10. If we go in C Cleaner, it says uh, just Windows 64 bit. So, you know, it, it's not really out yet, it's just, again, a preview, so um, some programs are confused by that, and web browsers always keep saying just Windows and not anything else. But yeah, no deal, I mean, that's just a, a thing to mention. So I haven't really tried much out yet, just really basic stuff that really should work, and it does. Um, CCleaner, Chrome, LibreOffice, Dropbox, Steam, not without games, you know, need to reinstall those. Um, yeah, DLAN is just a file sharing software. And yeah, the rest is just Windows stuff. So I haven't really got a lot of stuff on here, but I can tell you guys, this, this really works really good. Um, and I, I love the start menu back. Really, I, I do actually love it. It's... I mean, this here doesn't really ne isn't really necessary, but it it doesn't disturb me anymore because I, I don't need to use it. <laughs> I mean, yes, you could uh, kind of get rid of all of that. I'll probably do that, but there's one Metro app that I use, and that is uh, the Finance. Finance is I don't know how it's called in English. Finance thing. That is the one I use. The rest, uh, I really. Seriously, I, I don't really use any of the rest, so what is else there? Well, well, maybe mail, but well, actually not. So, yeah, this is the only one I use. Now, what I still, what's still a little buggy is when I maximize it, and that's probably just because of me putting always the bar on the, you know, on the top. Is it goes in there <laughs> and. Uh, I can't get it back so I need to kind of make my way around it doesn't do that if on the other way when this is down and I also do not have a search box in the start menu yet when I put it on a, on a top so I still have this stupid extra search so yeah I, I like to demonstrate what I mean by that when I put down the taskbar to the bottom which I don't really like it yet but yeah um, and I press the uh, the Windows button, it automatically gives me the search. And that is the thing I use so much on Windows systems. Like always, seriously. So, uh, yeah, this kind of sucks. But they will fix that eventually. So, I know uh, the, there's probably a user base of 1% to use that on the top, but I'm one of those 1% and I want to have it there. It's going to stay there. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's really my only complaint about it.
there have been no problems, there's nothing that wasn't compatible yet, so I can't really um, say a lot else. Here we have full screen, which thankfully I don't have to be like all the time, so that's great with Windows feedback here. So overall, yeah, it's uh, about the same performance as Windows 8.1. Here we have all the, the organized stuff. Now, I noticed that little loading tab. I don't know, is that just on my system here or, or is that generally? So if I click all apps, it kind of loads the first time here. No, now it doesn't, of course. But I swore it does that always. <laughs> what the hell? Look at that. That, That's instant. That's how it should be. I don't know why it doesn't do that when I use it, at least. Well, I, I tell you guys, it doesn't stay like that sometimes. And uh, the multi touch things aren't so great yet. They, they're a little buggy, but maybe that's just a driver for the touchpad. I don't know. That's actually no huge deal because I never really used the, the trackpad on this anyway. I always have a mouse, just right now I don't have it. So, um, yeah, this is Windows 10 running on the Dell. It's running absolutely fine, really fast, way faster than Windows 7 ever did, actually. But 8 did that as well, so um, that was actually my first computer to use Windows 8 you know as his primary OS and I still I like Windows 10 way more than Windows 8.1 just because of this start menu to be back I absolutely love this because here I have 8.1 and ah, I hate this thing this start page screen thing I, I never really liked that a lot but also this here when I open here what could I open open your finances too uh, minimize it always that thing and and this this charm bars are they're just getting on my nerves but here they're gone so great job there I hated them so much that was so annoying so yeah settings look a little boring when I ask when you ask me that just looks so boring <laughs> this is just two colors that looks like something from the 80s or so I mean, seriously, it does look like that. This is not, this is not modern, it's just, just boring. <laughs> but it works at least, so. Yeah, this is more, I think, the tablet thing. There's also this notification thing, which they kind of stole from the Mac. But I gotta say, I never really used that notification center on Mac, so I'll probably not use that on here as well, so. I just, I don't know. I mean, I, I like the notifications, but that's it. I don't need to see that all the time. <laughs> I see them once, and, you know, I can remember so much. I don't know. I, that never really caught me, that uh, notification center. That's how, how it's called on Mac. I don't know how it's called here. Notifications. Just like that. We have some, also some settings. Tablet mode, display, connect, whatever. But yeah, works great. Oh yeah, Skype is on here too. Uh, yeah, so this is I haven't do, really used it with a lot of intense software like games and whatnot. But the first impression is great. There's really only one thing that didn't work, and that was the sound. And that I could fix easily with a driver installation from the website. So totally cool. Love it. Hopefully the file is as good as this. See ya.